Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 19th of August for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be grateful if you did so now. This week begins with a shift of emphasis beginning to take shape. Late last week, Mars, the planet of drive, moved into the sign of Virgo. Now this is a bit counterintuitive because Mars is about the individual. It's about our desire to get instant gratification. It's a more masculine energy. Of course, Virgo is the Virgin. It is about sacrifice and purity. But Mars in this area can see us able to work harder, sustain our efforts in a much more focused way and look for tangible results. Now Mars is going to be joined on Wednesday by Venus. Now Venus in the sign of Virgo is also quite self-sacrificing. And then they're both joined on Friday by the Sun, which returns to Virgo for the first time in 11 months. Now in the last phase of this week, the three are going to be together. So we have a stellium. And this is going to be fascinating because they're also going to be linking to Uranus in the sign of Taurus. So we have this greater emphasis on the things uh, that require our attention to detail and where we need to be thorough and precise and discriminating, which all comes from that Virgo energy. But there's also a push to be creative, inventive, and a bit spontaneous, which is coming from the energy from Uranus. Also, as we enter into this week, we still have the backdrop of last week's Venus-infused uh, full moon, which occurred in the sign of Aquarius. So we were already being asked to juggle our priorities and manage our time, especially in a social or romantic context. So I think what this Virgo energy is going to ask us to do is really focus. And the interesting thing also is there is a quarter moon on Friday in the sign of Gemini, which could see us tempted because of the Virgo energy to almost be too virtuous and to try to pack in so much at the end of this week um, that we actually end up spreading ourselves too thinly. So really prioritizing on what's really important is going to be really helpful. And the other thing that's happening this week is that Mercury, now it's going forwards in the sign of Leo, is actually forging a superb angle to Jupiter. So Jupiter, of course, is in Sagittarius itself going forwards. So if there is a scheme which requires us to think big, be positive, but apply ourselves in a very precise way, which is supported by this Virgo energy, well, we're certainly getting it all together. But it's important to understand that the stellium between the Sun and Venus also links with Mars, and that's quite a sultry combination. So it may say us orientated in some way with our passions to do something that can be good for someone or good for a relationship, but especially where we can think of another person's needs and be a bit more thoughtful or practical in the way that we help them. Your specific forecast, Leo, shows a stunning angle between Mercury and also Jupiter. Now Mercury, of course, was in your sign, then retreated back into the sign of Cancer. It's now emerged back into your sign. So something that was important to you in terms of a project, a plan, or just a more creative idea can start to pick up momentum. And in fact, if you push forwards with a real sense of self-belief and uh, self-expression, the angle between Jupiter and Mercury really can be a great asset to you. However, at the start of this week, Mars is finding its way in the subsequent sign to yours of Virgo. This is going to make you much more serious through to the 3rd of October about your resources, but it's joined on Wednesday by Venus and then on Friday by the Sun. If you really have been investing a lot of yourself at a personal level, 
and taken a lot of ownership of whatever it is you have been doing, whether it's being around a relationship, a hobby, a craft, your work, I think what you're going to be wanting to see by the end of this week is some kind of tangible progress. And you can. It's just that when it comes to the more generous side of your nature, there could be someone in your circle who does have a tendency to take that a little bit for granted because you can be so giving. So you may just want to be conscious of the politics around one group situation. But overwhelmingly, this is a time when you can develop a much greater appreciation for the good things in life if you need it and more determination to improve your lot financially. And if you are lucky enough to be in a relationship, an intimate relationship, the sensuality that's coming into your chart at the end of this week is something that's very pleasant indeed. If you'd like to know more about personal astrology based on your time, date and place of birth, why not click on the link beneath this video and visit my personal horoscope store. You can buy a year's forecast plus a character analysis and I will give you a 30% discount. Or you can choose to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me. But for now, good luck and goodbye.